Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's do something practical yet pretty. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and a big thank you and a big welcome to everyone who has recently subscribed. I really do appreciate you choosing to become a member of my little online crafting family. And a big thank you to everyone who is supporting me in so many positive ways. Today we're going to do another Dollar Tree chopping mat project. And this time we're going to make a four to six pocket flexible holder for our craft rooms or our home offices, however you want to use it. So y'all know what time it is, it's time to make it. All right, y'all, so here is our easy, easy expandable folder. So simple, and we're making it using the Dollar Tree chopping mat. And if you don't have chopping mats, but you have something else that you want to try, by all means, guys, give it a try. So this is going to be a no measuring project, but when my project was finished, it ended up being eight and an eighth by 11. So depending on how you do your folds, your project size might end up being very close to this. I am going to untie my ribbon because I decided to do a really sweet little ribbon closure on this to make it simple. And then we open it. You can see that we have one, two, three, and four pockets. You actually have the potential to have six pockets in here and I'll show you what I mean by that. But how I'm making this one, I will have four, but I'll also give you directions on how you can turn this into six pockets. So what I'll be using are the new flexible cutting mats from the Dollar Tree. Doesn't matter if it's the new ones or the old ones. I just decided I would try working with the new ones a little bit more just to see how they work. And so you're going to need two packs, meaning that you're going to need four and each one of these measures 11 by 14. And then we're going to be using some of the metal snaps and I will have these listed in the description box. Please make sure that you check there if you're interested in the snaps that I'm using on this project. And like I said, we are going to be doing no measuring. So we're going to take two of our mats and we're going to fold them in half and crease it. And I'll take my big old spatula and I'm just going to burnish that crease and you can see how nice and flat this is actually laying. So then I'm going to do my second one. So now we have the two inside pockets. I'm going to set those to the side for just a minute. We're going to take the third piece. I am just going to fold it up to this point. So you can see how much I left. I probably left about two inches here at the top, but again, we're not measuring. We're just going to go with making this project work for us and keeping it as simple as possible. So now that we have this piece, we're going to take our two folders and just stack them inside and try to get them as close to the bottom as you can and your piece is going to look like this. So now we're going to take this piece and we're going to place it on this piece. So you're going to take this whole stack and line it up with the bottom of this piece. And then holding all of my pieces together I am going to take my hole punch and I'll also have this linked in the description box and I'm going to punch a hole like that. And to hold everything together right now, I'm going to go ahead and put in one of my snaps. And for this part of the project, and I am using one of the medium sized snaps from the kit. So I'm going to take the snap head put it on and now I'm going to take my chunky little hammer and we're just going to hammer that into place. So now we have our front like this 
And I'm using snaps because I have found that glue absolutely does not work to hold this together. And tape, while it will hold, sometimes it may peel. So I like having the snaps because they give me a nice metal accent. So now I'm going to take my hole punch again. On mine, I am going to punch three holes. On yours, you might not want to punch holes. You might want to stitch. You might want to do so many other things besides punching holes and putting in these snaps. It is completely up to you how you want to do it. And as I always say, if you have an alternative way that you're thinking of, give it a try because I probably haven't tried it. So if you think it might work, give it a try. Put that snap head on, beat that into place. We're going to put our last snap head on on the bottom. So now we have the folder constructed. We're going to go ahead and do the side. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and create my back pocket. Now some of you are probably wondering why didn't you punch all of these holes before now? Because I wanted to make sure that I had all of my holes nicely aligned. So I am going to go ahead and punch a hole right there at the top. And I'm going to take my snap heads and just start putting them in. And where you place your holes, guys, it is completely up to you. You can place way more holes than you see me placing here. You don't have to place the exact number that you see me using. So I'm going to put one right there. And then off to the opposite side, I will put another one. So if you want to make this into six pockets, you now take this piece, this folder here, and you're going to snap it to this whole back section here. And I'll go ahead and do that so that you guys can see what I mean. So we placed our snaps here. We're going to take the next pocket and we're going to punch a hole right here. And that hole goes through the back. So now I'm going to take another snap. We're going to put that snap in. I'll take a snap head. And we'll feed that into place. So now you'll be able to see that you have this pocket here, you have a pocket here, and then you're going to have a pocket here. So let's do the same thing over here. We're going to take our hole punch and match it to a hole on this side. So now I'm going to take this one, put it in, flip it over, add a back, and make some noise. So you can see how this is coming together. So now we have one pocket, two pockets, three pockets. We now have an op opportunity to have four pockets if we join this one to this. And then we'll have five pockets here. And then this would make our six pockets. So now I am just going to take my hole punch. I am going to punch a hole right here. And then I'm going to punch my hole right here. Take my snap, put it through, take my snap head, and then we'll just snap into place and we'll do the same thing over here. And so just like that we have a nice set of pockets in our folder. 
So on this one, I actually have five because I didn't connect the sixth one and I'll show you. So here at the back, we have one. Then from the back to the next piece, we have another. And then we have that pocket and we have another. Here is where I didn't connect that fourth one. So we have that space open, but you can make it into a pocket if you want by just adding another set of snaps. So then we have pocket number four here and pocket number five. Now to close it, I am simply going to take this piece, fold it over as far as I might want it, And now we have our folder. So my 12 inch Crocodile Big Bite is at home. So I am going to have to do this the old fashioned way. And it might look a little rustic to some of you, but this is the way that I'm going to make it work. So I am just going to punch two holes using my piercer here. And then I'll go through the other way as well, just to give that a nice opening. Then I'm going to take my piercer and just make a pierce mark in the hole. So then I'm piercing the other pocket slightly. So now I can take my piercer and really open that hole. We're going to do the same thing right here. We're really going to open it. And just like on the other, I'll go through. Now I'm going to use ribbon for this portion, but you can use whatever it is you like. But the first thing that you need to do is thread both pieces through the bottom hole from the inside out. And then we can just thread it through the outer hole. Now you can actually um, make these holes look better by using some eyelets. I am just punching holes and feeding my ribbon through. Now I can take my ribbon and tie myself a nice little bow. And so now we have a sweet little bow closure. Guys, this is just another way that you can organize some of your scraps, some of your project pieces. You can put your recipes in here. You can put important documents in here. This is just so multifunctional and so easy to make and so economical because we use $2 worth of chopping mats. We probably used about 20 cents worth of rivets and about 15 cents worth of ribbon. So in the end, we have a very low cost, multi-pocket, durable document holder, scrap holder, whatever it is you want to use it for. And you can actually bend this back and then just crease it back down when you want it to lay flat. But in this one, I have some of the cards I made. I have some of the napkins and then I have some envelopes in the front. So getting it to lay flat again is as simple as recreasing it. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed these super simple, flexible folders that we can use in our crafting. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.